Hi, my name is Megan Waldeck and I'm a career liaison at the Florida State University Career Center. In this video, we'll review the basics of networking and social media as related to your job search. Networking can be an intimidating concept, but it's important to remember that it's something that you do every day by just talking to people. At its core, networking is simply an information exchange between two or more parties. Some people have the misconception that networking means that you are using someone. However, in most cases, all involved benefit from the interaction. The purpose of networking as related to your career is to gain information about potential opportunities, to meet people in your chosen industry, to obtain potentially useful names or organizations you may not have thought of or people you may not have met, and to build your network of contacts. Meeting new people in networking situations also enables you to learn about opportunities that might not be displayed to the public. The hidden market refers to jobs that are filled before they are posted online or in print ads. Making and keeping connections in your industry will help you stay aware of opportunities that might not be posted. It is also important to remember that using a variety of job search methods is crucial. For example, relying only on online postings from one website will severely limit the amount of positions you see. Before you get into a networking situation or event, it's important to know some things about yourself. People you meet will want to know about you, your values, and your goals. People you are networking with in order to obtain a job will want to know your strengths and weaknesses and what you have to offer their organization. You will also need to know what you are looking for or what you are hoping to gain from the interaction. Useful things to think about include what your long-term goals are, what career fields you are interested in, where you would like to live and work, and your ideal organization or position title. Remember that it is good to be open-minded about these factors in case an opportunity that you had not thought of before presents itself. Being prepared in these areas will help you make useful connections and enable you to speak confidently about your values, skills, and interests. Remember that you may already have a good start to a professional network in place. You can start off by doing an inventory of your current contacts, including your family members, friends, classmates, members of your student organizations, and professors. You can start reaching out to potential new contacts through resources such as employer directories, like the one listed in your Seminole Link account, and professional organizations. If you are reaching out to someone new for the first time, one way to connect with them and learn more about them is through an information interview. An information interview is simply an opportunity for you to ask questions about someone's career path, how they got to where they are today, and what advice they might have for someone in your position. It's important to remember that the purpose of this interaction is to obtain information about that person and to make a connection, and not for you to ask for a job right away. Make sure you clarify that you are simply seeking information about how best to approach the job search in your industry. Social media networking sites can provide great ways to connect with professionals in your industry. Employers are also using these sites to search for and screen potential candidates. There are hundreds of sites to choose from, but the most popular ones include Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. The Career Center recommends creating a professional LinkedIn account to help you manage your connections as you go through your job search. If you need assistance with this, you can access our Building Your LinkedIn Presence Guide on our website. The best way to get started is to make sure you have a positive online presence. You can do that by creating profiles on networking sites, joining relevant online groups through those sites, or professional association sites in your industry. Each site or group will have its own culture and set of rules. Make sure to become familiar with things like what people post and how often they post in order to make sure you have a positive impact. Remember that when you join groups on social media sites like LinkedIn, the names of those groups are shown on your profile, so it is important to make sure that they are relevant to you and your job search. It is also wise to be aware of others who have the same name as you. An easy way to figure that out is to Google your name and to see what comes up in that search. It is important to remember that sometimes your online profile might be a new contact's first impression of you. With that in mind, carefully consider the amount of personal information you post about yourself online. If you are in doubt about whether something is appropriate to post or not, ask yourself these questions. Would you be willing to have the information viewed by the public? or could you justify the information to others if they question your post? A simple rule of thumb is, if you don't want the information about you known by an employer, do not post it online. Additionally, make sure you are aware of and using the privacy options available to you. 
We've covered the basics of networking and social media as related to the job search. These sites are growing and changing every day. With that in mind, it is important to make sure you stay up to date on privacy setting changes and what your information looks like to new contacts. The Career Center has a variety of resources to assist you as you network your way through your job search process. Professional is a database of friends and alumni of FSU who have volunteered to have their information available to you in order to answer your questions about the job search. You can access the Professional database under the Networking tab of your Seminole Link account. The Career Center also has a LinkedIn group where you can connect with your peers, FSU alumni, and employers all in one place. We also host career events in the fall and spring semesters. Take a look at our website, www.career.fsu.edu, to see the updated event calendar. The guides that you have seen throughout this video can also be found on our website under the Our Resources heading and Career Guides. Make sure to keep up with the Career Center as you go through your job search. If you have questions or would like more information, please visit our website or our social media sites to learn more.